So my work focuses on understanding the role of regulatory T cells in MS. So regulatory T cells are a type of the cell, it's a type of cell of the immune system which is in charge of inhibiting the function and proliferation of other T cells. And that is really important for MS because we know that lymphocytes in MS recognize myelin and other components of the central nervous system and they mount an immune, and they mount an immune response against these components. So if these regulatory cells worked fine, they would be able to stop this attack. But we know that these T-Rex do not work properly. So um, my work is focused on understanding what is different between these T-Rex in healthy controls or healthy individuals as compared to T-Rex in patients. So we are interested in understanding what is different between them and what is missing in the regulatory T-cells from the patients or what is there that is not supposed to be and that is causing these cells not to function properly. So <clears throat> this is my, my, the major focus of my, of my project. Well, our lab published some years ago that these cells are indeed not functional, and at that point, that was almost eight years ago, and at that point, we didn't know what the mechanism for that was. A uh, few years later, we were able to publish some data showing that indeed the T-Rex, the regulatory T cells, what are doing is that they are behaving as a normal cell. So they are not, the machinery that they use to suppress the proliferation of other cells was not working. Um, and now that is the focus of my project. So I'm trying to understand the mechanisms that are driving these cells not to function properly. But we, we know exactly what the defect is, but we want to know where to attack these cells in order to design new therapeutic strategies that could possibly restore the function of these cells. So it's, it's very exciting because uh, we have some preliminary data that we have been able to work on thanks thank to the Nancy Davis Foundation and their, their funding. And we have some targets that we think that could be used to design new drugs for, for patients. So we are doing the basic immunology experiments and after that we are planning on moving forward with that. Um, I wanna thank Nancy Davis Foundation and the donors for giving us the support to continue working on this project.